What's up? So I want to quickly start off by saying hi, like, yeah, it's been a while since I've made a Team Fortress 2 weapon tier list. I believe I made my scout video, like, five months ago, in June, something like that. And just recently it's starting to become a very successful video, so I thought, you know, why not just finish off the rest of the series? I don't know why I haven't been making the videos at all, just haven't really felt like it. But, you know, now I do feel like it. And right after Scout, it's the Soldier. Soldier, same as Scout, has primary, secondaries, and melee weapons, and I'm basically just going to rank each one of them from S to F. But, and keep in mind, I have the competitive mindset here. But, I still have to consider the fact that, like, some weapons are never used because there's just something that's better than it in just about every situation, so the worst weapon never gets used, even though it's technically still a good weapon. An example I can think of right away is the shotgun and the reserve shooter, where the reserve shooter is just a four-shot shotgun, and the shotgun's a six-shot shotgun. So I'm gonna start off right away where I obviously put the stock rocket launcher in S. Not much to say. Perfect, high damage, high blast radius. You can control the battlefield with this thing. It's got good enough projectile speed, and it's just the staple in the primary rocket launcher that most competitive soldiers go to. And direct clone of the rocket launcher is basically the cow mangler, where you have infinite ammo and you have a charge shot, which isn't really that useful in the competitive scheme of things. But the fact that you have infinite ammo is very useful because say you're a pocket medic and you and you're with your team you don't want to be taking ammo boxes that say your demo men could be using where instead you just have infinite ammo and you don't have to worry about that but an obvious drawback that you get is that it does just about no damage to buildings so say if you're an offensive team trying to make a push on 5 cp and they got turtling engineer you're not going to be able to push in the no random critical hits is a big downside in casual. People always look at no random crits as not a big deal, but it, when you're in casual, it kind of is, because random crits can save your butt time and time again. But in competitive, there's no random crits, so that doesn't matter. So the cow mangler has a good upside, bad downside, but it's balanced enough to where it's just in line with the stock rocket launcher. I'd still probably say that the stock rocket launcher is the better option though. And I definitely want to get it out of the way that uh, there's one more thing that definitely goes in S. Yes, the escape plan, perfect melee, surprise that has never been nerfed where you still get to do just as much damage as the stock shovel, but you get to move crazy fast when you're at slow speed, when you're at, uh, I mean, <laughs> low health. And you're marked for death, but if you're at low health, if you're hit, you're probably going to die anyways, so it's better to have good speed. And there's really no reason not to use the escape plan, unless using the disciplinary action, which I put in B. It's not really getting A, because it's been nerfed in recent years. Well, I can't really say recent years because there hasn't been any updates whatsoever, but you have to, you know, pull it out and run after someone to hit them, but it is still very useful, it's a very good weapon, but it's not as good as the escape plan. Like, for say, a roamer soldier, you're definitely going to want to use the escape plan over the disciplinary action, but if you were a pocket soldier that sticks with the medic, maybe you would use that instead, because I don't see why you would need to run away from a battle when you're sticking with your medic. Only when your medic and your demo and other supporting teammates die would you need the escape plan to escape. But even then, if your medic's dead, you're probably dead too. And now, stock shotgun, where are you? There you are. That goes in A. It's not as reliable as a massive damage dealer as the stock rocket launcher, but stock shotgun is still very reliable. And I'm gonna put its rival, the gunboats, right with it in A, because these two, these are the two different playstyles. You have the shotgun, which is for your pocket soldier, and your gunboats, which is for your roamer soldier. The gunboats reduce your rocket damage that you take. 
when you rocket jump. So it's perfect for a roamer soldier that just wants to jump around and be an idiot. But stock shotgun, consistent damage, it's hit scan, um, and competitive you don't have to deal with random bullet spread BS, and it is very good. But as I mentioned before, an underused weapon, the reserve shooter, goes just below the stock shotgun. Even though it's never used, it's still a shotgun with four shots. Like, and it's, it will still be reliable where you can deal mini crit when you launch someone up in the air. Most of the time you're going to prefer to just straight up air shot them. Let's say you run out of clip size at your rocket launcher, you can go to your reserve shooter, and it has a 20% faster deploy speed. So it's not 100% useless compared to the stock shotgun, even though the stock shotgun is better. Here's another thing that will go in A, the direct hit. Very very good when in the right hands. Only problem is that it doesn't have the super reliable splash damage that the top, that the two top tier rocket launchers will have. It's a pick weapon where you basically just pick off one enemy at a time, but it's still very good. Crazy damage crazy projectile speed, and when in the hands of a name botter, <laughs> crazy stuff will happen. But this is going to be a controversial pick, but I'm putting the conch in A, even though you rarely ever see a secondary other than the shotgun or gunboats, the conch is still very good. Say you're on Highlander defending or attacking, you might, you might pick to use a backpack in some cases so that you can support your eight teammates. And the conch easily has the best effect where it takes the least amount of damage to charge up to your rage and you get the speed boost and you get health back when you deal damage, which is perfect when you want to make a push. You can hardly be stopped in that way. And I feel like maybe it deserves a nerf. Oh, and not to mention, you get self-regeneration with it. It starts out at 1 health per second, I believe, the moment you start taking damage again. But then over time, when un when you haven't taken damage for a while, it goes up to plus 4 per second, which turns out to be a lot. And sometimes it makes it so that you don't need to take health packs from your teammates. And I will just quickly put the two other backpacks where I think they belong. Battalion's backup, and then buff banner at the bottom. Buff banner doesn't have a passive effect. So that's why I'm putting it below, and its effect is overall worse than the battalions, because the battalions allows you to make a sentry push, because you get a lot of damage resistance, and the soldier also gets more maximum health. So like overheal stacking, 275 with a quick fix, 330 with all the other meta guns, which is crazy. Um, you can survive two headshots, given the right timing. Um, all, all buffs are good but it definitely goes conch, battalions, and buff man. And I'm just gonna get the crappy weapons out of the way. Yeah, the obvious Fs. Um, sorry, Bison fans. Uh, those are your two Fs. It's, it's shovel from the Bison, I'm sorry. But you're never gonna see these ever. And I'm gonna put in E the items that you might rarely see, which are these. Yes, the rocket jumper is not going in F. Because, think about it, there might be one random time when you might want to use any of those four weapons. Base jumper, equalizer, man treads, or rocket jumper. But you're never going to want to use the bison or shovel. <laughs> I'm sorry, bison fans, but it's true. Like, there could just be a random time, maybe 10 seconds left on the clock. You have to use a rocket jumper to avoid taking damage when you're rocket jumping to get as quickly to the cart or the point as possible. You never know. <laughs> and the main treads have some use, but you're never really gonna ever want to use it over a shotgun or gunboats or conch or buff. But still, more useful than the bison or shovel. The equalizer, I would want to put it with the stock shovel, but say you're at like 1 HP, you can deal like 115 damage, which is a nice hit. And the base jumper, you can screw with movement, or you could pair it with the airstrike, which I put in C, because the airstrike is not that good. The problem with the airstrike is that you have reduced splash damage when you're using its upside, which is the faster um, firing speed when you're rocket jumping. 
why do you have a reduced splash radius when you're trying to utilize its best effect? Just get rid of that and it would be a shoe in for A or B. But speaking of another C, we got the panic attack. On other classes like heavy or pyro, I don't know why you would use it on either of those classes, but oh well maybe on pyro it's good because you're at close ranges. But on soldier the panic attack doesn't really go sometimes because you're always sticking with your team and sometimes you're at long distances and with the shotgun you can pick off like a 20, a 30, a 40 shot but you can get off like a maybe a 20 shot with your first shot with the panic attack but because the spread increases with every successive shot you're getting a much increased spread and you don't want that. I'm gonna quickly put the pain train in D because in competitive you it's all about the objective, all about being a team game and helping your team win and getting a times two objective capture rate is always nice but still not always useful and I'm gonna put the katana right with it because the katana on demo on demo map I'd put that in A or S like it's very good when you have a shield that you can just run into somebody get a quick 100 health but on soldier that's not really the case the only way you can get up to somebody and melee them is if you're rocket jumping but why wouldn't you just want to use the market gardener which goes above it because if you're rocket jumping you would want to use the market gardener instead I wouldn't put the market gardener with the disciplinary action or escape plan I get that some people are crazy with it I'm not. I'm really bad at trolldering. You know, I could just put the whole trolldering set in one tier, but that's a, that's a topic for later, talking about subclasses. But yeah, we have three weapons left, three rocket launchers. I'm going to start with the black box, that's going in B, and also that will also go in B, the liberty launcher. The problems with those is in their downsides. You lose 25% of your clip size with the black box, so you only have three shots instead of four. And that costs you a lot. It costs you when you're trying to beat up on a whole team. It halts your pushes. Even though you get some health, why would you ever want to use it in the first place? If you were roaming, you have to invest one rocket to rocket jump to bomb, so you only have two left. If I were a roamer, I would want to have three left if I was bombing somebody, say the medic. Even though two rockets can still kill most classes, I still want to have three. And the problem with the Liberty Launcher is that you lose 25% of your damage. I'd put the Liberty Launcher above the black box in a competitive situation, but the fact that you lose that much damage just always hurts. But if you do have a Crit Streak Medic, it definitely would make its way into S, but we're not talking about what ifs, we're talking about the weapons themselves. And then the worst rocket launcher, the beggars. It's pretty terrible. Uh, I know that some people are really good at like jumping with the beggars bazooka, and I really respect those guys. But when you actually think about it, using it for damage is not all that useful. And it's the the deviation of the rocket spread, like. So you shoot a rocket, it's not always going to go straight. With the beggars, it's going to be spread out a little bit in a random direction. That always hurts, especially when you're trying to air shot. And you can't air shot with this thing. Definitely can't. Um, I feel like it just needs a faster reload speed. And maybe charges up to four rockets. Then just reduce its firing speed. All these weapons that are in the C through F can be balanced to be better and more useful. But Valve doesn't ever want to make changes to the game. It's very sad. Well, that's my tier list. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree with some of the placements. I'm sure that some of them are for debate. The conch, Market Gardener could be higher. This, these two could be lower. Um, there's a lot that can be debated. I could put, I could go ahead and put that in F and satisfy a bunch of people, people's angry minds. But this is my opinion. I don't have a ton of competitive experience, maybe no more than a thousand hours, which I guess is a lot, but there are definitely some people that have better words than I do, but this is what I've got, and I think it's fairly accurate. I will talk
talk to some people about this, asking for their opinions, and then maybe I'll leave some comments saying like, hey, I messed up. But all in all, this is what I've got. Maybe the direct hit could actually be lower. But aside from this, I also want to say that I will be making the pyro video maybe before the end of 2019. I have a special video planned before the end of 2019 related to a compilation of the best screenshots that I took over the year because I started uploading again right at the end of last year and channels I can't really say been doing well because we're still stuck at like 70 subs I'd love to get that up please drop a subscribe please drop a sub if you're watching it helps so much it makes me feel so much better as a small youtuber it gives me confidence to want to upload so if you want to see more of these tier lists then drop subs but yeah, I, I haven't really planned one for the Pyro video yet. It's gonna be good, I definitely have a lot of experience on Pyro. I have the most experience on Soldier, I forgot to mention that Soldier's my main. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely had to plan what I was gonna say for each thing. Sorry if I messed up from time to time. I'm a rookie YouTuber, I don't do this often. But I thought that, you know, I just wanna do more videos of this sort. I want to complete the series because I'm sure that it's something that in a day and age where Team Fortress 2 YouTube content is dying could certainly use me. Peace out. Have a good day.